This song is called Dopamine, and at a pretty superficial level, that's kind of what the song's about. Um, it's that rush, the energy, and the dopamine that literally fills your system when you go out looking for love or something else for the night or whatever. I mean, one of the first lyrics to the song is liquor, cigarettes, dopamine, in my system. So that's kind of self-explanatory right there. I technically started working on this song a year ago. I was writing a small little demo, just my keyboard, vocal, recording on my phone, and it had a different melody, different chorus, different vibe, and a different name. I had originally named this song More Than Friends. And I was done with it, didn't know what I wanted to do with it, so I kind of just forgot about it. A um, few months go by and Ryan Benyo, who is one of my co-writers, producers, and engineer, on Dopamine called me and he said, I want you to come over to my studio. I've been working on a few tracks I want you to listen to, see if you're interested in any of them. So I went over and he's playing me, um, he, he's playing me what the original track for Dopamine was and I became obsessed with it. Ryan and I worked together for a few years now, so he knows that I lean more towards the dark and twisty, almost haunting sounding, mysterious songs. And that dopamine kind of hit all those boxes for me. So I said, okay, let me take this home. Let me work on it. Let me see what lyrics I can come up with. And everything sounded wrong. Nothing was fitting right. It just wasn't what I wanted. So I'm scrolling through the notes app on my phone where I keep all my old songs and lyrics. And I found this song called More Than Friends. And I'm reading the lyrics again, probably five months after I read them. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is perfect. So I Frankenstein my song. I got rid of the original chorus. It didn't work, it didn't fit. So that got rid of the name more than friends. Um, but I really loved the verses and they stayed almost exactly the same. Obviously some tweaks had to be made during the writing process to make sure that everything fit in with the melody line, that everything, I guess, story-wise made sense um, throughout the story of the song but a lot of the lyrics were just pulled directly from that first More Than Friends song. So then I brought it back into the studio with Ryan and we were able to zoom in with the other co-writer, Monty Malone. And I said, okay, here's what I have. Please help me fix it. Um, the chorus I was a little unsure of, a little insecure about, but we worked through it. And this has quickly become one of my favorite songs I've ever written. It, it feels different every single time I write a song. Um, which, I mean, I would hope, I wouldn't want it to always be the same. Every time I want to convey something new or convey topics that I've touched upon on the past, I want it to sound like a new, fresh song. Um, sometimes I don't directly write with a track. Sometimes I'm just writing completely from scratch, from the beginning. And I think this is the first time that I've ripped apart an older song completely to turn it into a different one, but I'm really pleased with um, how it kind of all came to be. So after we worked on a demo, I took it home for a few weeks and sat with it, practiced with it, thought about what else the song needed, and we all met back up in the studio and knocked it out. Ryan and Monty are both incredibly talented producers and immediately know what sounds good or bad with my voice because I've worked with both of them for a few years now. And everything about working with them is just seamless. They really know how to get and fit in the right harmonies and just like really small things in the song to listen for. That really is just them knowing what best suits me, which is kind of what you need and what you hope for with a writing team. Um, Ryan sent me a mix of the song a week or two later and I don't even think I had any notes on it. I think the very first mix I received was what was sent to be mastered, which typically, is not the norm for me. I typically have a few more notes and I can usually find at least one thing where I'm like, no, we need to change that. But I mean, he just really hit it out of the park with this one. And I, once again, was obsessed with dopamine. Dopamine is actually the third name that this song has had. First, it was originally named More Than Friends. And then for a long time, Monty Ryan and I had decided on the song, um, song title being Falling For A Stranger. That was the first lyric that I had actually come up with when writing the song, fell in love with the idea of falling for a stranger. That's the essence of the song for me, that rush and spark and danger of someone completely new, totally new to you. And I guess the, the craving that you get for this stranger to validate you, see you, watch you, obsess over you, which can come from all different places in your life. Like you just want someone new, you're running out of options for people you do know, or you're trying to get over someone. 
trying to get over someone is also another inspiration behind this song. There's literally a lyric that says, um, used to think you're the one to get me over him. But of course, I like the dark and twisted stuff. So there's no happy ending in dopamine. You don't get over that person and this new one doesn't work out. Dopamine is really just the beginning to a bad love story.